What's going on my friends? DJ Low Stacks here. Welcome back or to the channel. Today we are really close to home, about 10 minutes away. We are at the Delta Hotels Marriott Conference Center um, for today's wedding to celebrate with Chris and Ashley today. So it is a Friday wedding. We got two weddings this weekend. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do two gig logs or one. I might combine them into one because to be honest with you, I'm just tired of editing. But today, I, I'm really kind of partial to this spot. I've only been here for one other wedding, but I did do their grand opening event back in 2019. And then, you know, COVID happened, all that type of stuff. So with this being an indoor venue, I didn't get a chance to do any weddings here in 2020. This is gonna be my first event back since 2019. Um, They've done some staff changes, so Julie, the person that I was working with before, is no longer here, unfortunately. Uh, she was awesome, but hopefully the new staff is just as cool as she was. So, we're gonna get headed inside real quick. We're gonna get set up, and I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour. Um, I've already kind of started setting things up, because you know how easy my setup is, but I moved the truck over here out of the way because some other, other vendors had been showing up to unload, so I wanted to be courteous, get my truck out of the way. So I moved over here, gonna head inside right now and get set up. Let's get this party started, woo! All right guys, so now we are inside here at the Marriott. Uh, set up in, this is their largest banquet room. <clears throat> this wall over here is actually a separator, divider wall. So this room is twice the size of this, which this is already pretty big. Um, we're, I think right around 80 people, including myself and the wedding party. So <clears throat> smaller on the headcount size, but they did some pretty, pretty cool stuff in here. So first thing I wanna show you is this memorial table. So check this out. <clears throat> I've never seen this before. So instead of just having the pictures on a table off to the side somewhere, they actually have a memorial table for the gone but not forgotten. This is super cool. I've never seen this before, but I love it. It's an awesome idea. So head table is gonna be up here. They do have a video of some sort that they're gonna be playing on this. Uh, the Marriott's taking care of that, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, cake cuttings over here. We got the bar here in the center. <clears throat> and then uh, cocktail hour is actually gonna be out in the uh, entryway on the other side of this wall. And then there's another room on the other side of that where they're gonna have ceremony. So I'll take you guys over there and show you ceremony set up uh, here in a minute. But let me walk you guys through the DJ setup first. So I'm set up here. <clears throat> Got the monogram on the front, Chris and Ashley, J8s, Astera tubes. Yes, these bracelets work amazing. <clears throat> Got another Astera tube here on a stand. Back here, Astera's normal setup. I have not ordered new headphones yet. If you have some headphones that you recommend, drop me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite headphones are. Uh, Sennheiser mic, all that good stuff. Nothing really much has changed there. Uh, this is a 15 inch 2015 MacBook Pro. And yeah guys, that's about it. So let me run over real quick and I'll show you guys the ceremony room. All right guys, so now we're across the hall here in the ceremony room. So is this is where ceremony is gonna be. And then I'm set up right here. I'm actually plugged into power instead of running off battery. <clears throat> Speaker will still be battery powered though. But same as normal. I am thinking about swapping out this Allen Heath for a little more low profile mixer that might be able to fit slid underneath here. Oh, I just scanned for channels. I'll uh, have a handheld mic up front there. And then I'm also going to be using this speaker for cocktail. So I'm going to try to run it wirelessly into the hallway out here for cocktail hour. But, all right, that's all I got for you guys. I'm going to finish, actually going to queue up some music here for ceremony for prelude, and then uh, we'll get started. All right, good evening and welcome to the wedding celebration of Chris and Ashley. 
My name is Logan, and I will be your entertainer this evening. Before we get started, though, I need to make sure you guys can get loud. On the count of three, can you make some noise for our newlyweds? One, two, three. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. All right, guys, at this time, I'd like to introduce our wedding party, starting with our bridesmaids and groomsmen. First up, we have Jessica and Brent. Followed by Brittany and Chris. Next, we have Jessica and Tom. Next up, we have our VIPs of the evening. Make some noise for our Matron of Honor, Lauren, and our best man, Michael. So, what up, people? I'm planning on this one being, like I said, a two-part gig log. We're just not getting on the road. I feel like I don't talk to you guys enough, so hopefully you guys can hear me. Holy crap, guys, that was annoying. Sorry, so, <clears throat> this G7X that I'm shooting on, it's the Mark II and there's some screws missing from the screen. So that rattling that you were hearing ruined that entire clip. Um, it's about five minutes of a rant, but let me give you the clip notes. So basically I was just saying that uh, Friday night I had about an hour and a half of open dancing, which any longer would have been too long. It wasn't a very big crowd, so an hour and a half of the dancing, they were, they were good to go. Um, plus, they weren't really dancers much anyway. Wedding party and a few other guests, but for the most part, uh, not a lot of dancers there. <clears throat> but what I was talking about, or the whole point of that rant actually, I just wanted to touch on burnout a little bit. So, I talked for like five minutes about burnout and this and that and whatever, but I just wanted to let it be known that, you know, I was feeling like I was having some burnout yesterday morning on the way to an event. Um, fast forward. We get to the event and the event ends up going great. So that actually kind of helped me with my burnout. Uh, but I was just, uh, I don't know, Saturday, yesterday, just feeling a little burnt out, guys. I've been doing a lot of doubles. 
and I have a day job, day job still, so I still work full time during the day. And uh, then I also punch orders on Sundays. So I, my day job is I sell food to restaurants. So I have a lot of customers that get Monday deliveries. So I have to put those orders in on Sunday. And so I pretty much work seven days a week. Um, hopefully soon, you know, I'll be able to take the DJ thing full time. But as of right now, I do still have a day job. So yeah, I just want to touch on burnout a little bit, let you guys know that I'm human. And if you guys are facing some burnout, dealing with some burnout, you know, it's it's normal, it happens. It's uh, This has been a crazy busy wedding season and I'm sure a lot of us are feeling burnt out. So if you guys are feeling burnt out, let me know down below. What are some things you guys have done to help kind of deal with that, cope with that, that type of stuff. But all right, we're gonna jump back into this gig log. Um, I did lose some footage somehow um, of this next event. So I'm gonna throw on some clips from my phone uh, of a walk through the venue that I posted on Instagram because I'm thinking I forgot to hit record on this camera. But anyway, we're gonna jump into the second gig of this weekend. Let's go. All right, guys, we are here. We are set up. Well, kind of. I'm loaded in. Just pulled my truck around back, uh, parking here, kind of outside this door. Um, gonna run inside real quick, get set up. But first, I wanted to make note of something. So. I'm here, it's two o'clock, okay? Ceremony's not until 4.15, so I got two hours and 15 minutes. Then dinner's not until like six, so I'm probably gonna get hungry. These little nuts packs from Costco, I almost called it a nut sack. These nuts, ha, <laughs> got <he. laughs> <laughs> That's a little sack, but anyway, these little nut packs from Costco, they're called Power Up. Fire. They're so good. One of these things, I mean, I don't know what the calorie count is, 190 calories. This will keep me full for like two, sometimes three hours. So I usually eat one of these uh, right before setup, right after, holds me over until dinner. So, pro tip, bring some snacks, and nuts are good ones because they have nights of healthy fats and some proteins and all that type of stuff. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, whatever. I don't need to tell you guys. You guys probably know all this stuff, right? But, all right, we're going to get head, headed inside. We're going to get set up. Ceremonies in this half of the building reception is going to be in the other half of the building and cocktail hours going to be in the middle So uh, a little bit of logistics, but should be a pretty easy setup pretty cool setup and hopefully it's a good party I will catch up to you guys when we get inside What's going on my friends DJ low stacks here? Welcome back to the Instagram the Lux entertainment Instagram that is today. We are at the Montcalm County 4-H Conference Center, I guess is what it would be their fairgrounds so they got this really cool venue here as you can see the it's definitely not a not your traditional barn so <clears throat> pretty nice spot in here um let me flip this camera around i'll show you guys around today we are celebrating with patrick and amanda ceremony is going to be directly behind me in the other room uh and then this is going to be the reception area so let me give you guys a quick tour so here's our setup in the corner here we got the video monogram going with the couple's name over here is going to be the head table, so they're going to be sitting here, and then bridesmaids and groomsmen, and then the guests. So this will double as the dance floor. So I've got lights here and here, there, there. So once dinner's done, they're going to break these tables down, and this will be the dance floor. Like I said, ceremony is going to be across the hall in that room. So this room is where ceremony is going to happen. So they were actually officially married last year, and they're doing reception this year, so... This is kind of clever, but this will be ceremony site. I'm set up here and this will be cocktail area. So bars there. Oh man, I didn't think